Hey friend, storage is one of the most important feature in AWS and today I will share you the types of storage and the details about the S3 storage. Now whether you are new or you already know them, after watching this complete video you can explain easily to anyone in your interview confidently. And yes, not just definitions, like this I will explain step by step with the help of diagram. So stay with me and let's start learning. What is AWS storage? What are the types of AWS storage? Now after listening to this, you will feel more confident. As a developer, you know there are different types of files that your application handles. For example, there are readable files like Word file or PDF file. Then there are images files like PNG or JPG and also data files like CSV or text files, right? So to handle and to store different types of data files in the best way, AWS provides different types of storage services. Okay, so the one, the first is the very popular one and that is Amazon S3, simple storage service. S3 stands for simple storage service. S3 is best used to store unstructured data like images, videos, backups, documents and more. Okay, it is the most popular one because nowadays everyone is creating videos, watching videos, right? And the videos you are watching right now, maybe it is also here hosted in some AWS hosted website. If it is in AWS, then the, this video is stored in s3 storage only okay second type of storage is amazon efs elastic file system efs provides cloud-based shared file storage okay and the third type is amazon ebs which stands for elastic block storage which provide block level storage okay now i know i know i'm just giving one line answer right now but don't worry, in the upcoming question, I will explain each of these AWS storage in detail with the real example, like when to use which one. Okay, that I will explain more because that in interviews, they will ask you when to use this storage, when to use that storage like this. Okay, but yes, now you know the main types of storage and here is a simple and easy to remember definition. AWS storage is a cloud-based storage solution that allows you to store, access and manage data over the internet safely and reliably. I hope this diagram and definition in this book will help you in doing the quick revision before your interviews from this book. Explain Amazon S3 storage. When would you use it in your project? Get ready, after listening this, you can explain this to anyone. Let me explain with the help of an example. Suppose you have some EC2 instances or Beanstalk instances where your applications are running, okay? Now, from these application, this EC2 and this Beanstalk, your app is running here and from EC2, user are uploading the images from Beanstalk, user are uploading the videos, the media files and these files, media files send are coming to your application and then the best place to store these files is in uh, AWS is AWS S3 storage like this. Now the main question is why is this is the best? Why not other type of storage? because Amazon S3 is especially made for storing the large unstructured files like the media, images, videos, documents and backups. And uploading and downloading media files from S3 storage is very very fast. Okay. For example, let's say you have one another EC2 and one another Beanstalk. Okay. And from these two application here applications are running you want to read the images 
from the S3, you want to read the videos from S3, then you can directly access those media files from S3 storage through a URL like this. This is the URL. Okay, you can just use this URL and you can download those media files from the S3 storage and that is also very fast. That's why we use S3 to store the large files like images, videos. Okay, in short, S3 is the best when you want to store large files and access them via the URLs. Uh, URLs from web mobile cloud based application. Okay. Okay. And yes, there is one limitation of S3. That's same thing I have written here also. First of all, S3 is stored for large backup files. S3 when you want to access easily URLs, especially in web mobile. Huh? There is a limitation of S3 and that is here. Editing files in S3 blob or you can say blob storage manually is difficult because the files are stored as objects, not as regular files. Remember, in S3 storage, files are storage as objects. So if you want to open the S3 uh, storage and you want to edit the file manually, that's very complex and that's not uh, what S3 is, is meant for. For that purpose, there is some other storage which is Amazon EFS if you want to manipulate the files and that I will explain you in the upcoming question. But yes, this diagram in the book and this definition will help you revise your this Amazon S3 later in a better way from the book, right? Before moving forward, a quick note here. I created a complete AWS interview preparation bootcamp for you with three powerful tools. Number three, 200 plus AWS interview questions from all the topics step by step, even for AWS beginners like this. Second, a PDF book for quick last minute revision. And first, 10 AWS mock interviews to practice like real interviews. Many students have already cracked interviews with my courses. All links are in the description. If interested, great. If not, no worries. Let's move to the next question. What is Amazon EBS? How does it support EC2 instances? Very simple. I hope you already remember the basic idea where EC2 instances are used to host your application in the AWS cloud. Right? You already know this. Now let's talk about EBS. Okay. Elastic block store. So Amazon EBS provides persistent storage to these EC2 instances like this. So now you, you may ask what is persistent storage mean? So let's say your EC2 instance is like a computer running in the cloud. Now, if your application running in EC2, have some uh, files storing some files some database some important images now to store the critical data you can use ebs which is like a attached uh, storage in your main ec2 so that if tomorrow your ec2 is crashed or stopped because of any reason then the data stored in the ebs will be safe okay this is the job of EBS. So EBS you can think of as SSD or hard drive to your laptop or computer. Here is the final definition. Amazon EBS is used to provide persistent block storage to EC2 instance so that your data remains safe even if the EC2 instance is stopped or restarted. Now you will ask what is the meaning of block store in EBS? What is the block store? And what is the difference between block store and the object storage? S3 is the object storage. This one is the block storage. And this I will explain in upcoming question. Here is a short question. What is the difference between block storage and object storage? Let me explain here is the differences I have written. Okay. So, C. Block storage is mostly used with services like EBS and EFS and 
in this data is splitted into fixed size blocks okay for example if in your computer you have different folders these are like different blocks whereas in objects storage data is stored as objects okay so file with metadata and s3 storage s3 s3 don't forget metadata s3 storage is the example for object storage okay next difference is to access how to access block and object storage okay access method so block storage you mount like a hard disk via nfs okay like you access your uh, computer folders via paths whereas object storage is will be accessible via you sorry http api or urls urls especially so this is like a hard disk with some path it is via the urls okay when to use what use case is what block storage is used with the databases if you want to store your database then use block storage some operating system then you can use low latency apps for that object storage you can use in case of media files images videos okay big unstructured files so that is the difference between block storage and object storage great job my friend now one more important type of storage is efs very important for interviews that i have explained in my complete aws interview boot camp many of my students have already used my courses to crack their interviews now if you don't want to miss a single question for your next interview then check out the bootcamp and book link in the description below